legal drug lab in an underground bunker raided by police. So at least one person is under arrest. Susan Hirasuna is live with what investigators found. Susan. Well, they found a lot to say it in the most succinct manner, but let me just tell you that we tried talking to a lot of the neighborhood and a lot of the neighbors who live near that underground lab. They all said that they had no idea that it was there. They did say that over the last couple of years, they noticed a lot of people coming and going, that there was a lot of traffic. And perhaps it's one of those persons that went to that house that eventually snitched and tipped off the police. I was very surprised, to say the least. That's a common sentiment for neighbors we talked to on this cul-de-sac in Granada Hills. Police got an anonymous tip of a drug manufacturing lab at a house at the end of Hiawatha. Wednesday, Skyfox overhead the raid, which included police, fire, and hazmat. It took a major operation to remove drug-making equipment, materials, and the drugs themselves. A surprise to even police, the lab was underground. I mean, I knew they had a bomb shelter that... that uh because I knew the, the owners before them, but um, I had no idea. LAPD released photos showing the access point from a backyard shed to a bunker approximately 12 feet underground. Well, I couldn't smell a thing. Perhaps that's why the lab's next door neighbors suspected little. I kind of thought that maybe there was some small time dealing going on out of there, but nothing like a drug lab. LAPD arrested Casey Linder for manufacturing controlled substances. He's believed to be the son of the homeowner. Police accused Linder of growing hallucinogenic mushrooms in the shed and underground extracting DMT, a hallucinogenic, and THC, the psychoactive chemical of marijuana. In the house, police found a cache of guns and other drugs like heroin, fentanyl, meth, and eight liters of the date rape drug GHB. Now, a woman that is believed to be the daughter of the homeowner came up to us, did not want to be on camera, but she said the power had been shut off, and that is a handicap for her 70-year-old father, who is also a veteran. Now, I mentioned that to Pat, the man you just heard from. He kind of shrugged his shoulders and basically said, well, what can be expected when her brother is accused of doing what police say he did in that underground lab? And let me just tell you one other thing. Most of the neighbors we talked to, in fact, to all of them except Pat did not want to go on camera with me that they're very concerned about what the criminal element is that is uh, attached to that underground drug lab. Reporting live in Granada Hills, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.